Hey everybody, welcome back. We're here at Kentucky for the first time this year. Uh, we're coming down to just a one race to go after here. Colin Lindsay comes in as your points leader, 11 points. It looks like ahead of Matthias Freeman in second. Brandon Stab starting on pole next to the 52 car of Janelle Millen. Then we go back to the 90 car of Matt Johnson, the 98 of Andy Graham. Ashley Stab, Matthias Freeman, the 94 of Chase Farrell, the 1 of Skylar Dixon, the 55 of Zednik Price, the 46 of Cameron Gadu, and then Colin Lindsay is starting 11th. Look through the rest real quick. Philip Goldberg, only cup driver in, or I don't think it's Philip, it is Robert Goldberg. I just need for a second, but anyways, we are only here for a 14 lap race. Driver, As there's the command. There's the command, but we're only here for 14 laps, so not a lot of time to make passes on the one and a half mile track. Colin Lindsay starting back in 11th. Gonna try, have to try to get up to the front some way fast, and Theus Freeman starting right there inside the top 10. We'll be right back. Here they come through three and four. This is Brandon Stabs, I believe his first career poll. Brandon Stab, fifth in points, first career poll. Yeah, Colin Lindsay's got two wins and leads all other drivers right now in points as Ben Graham is back in third, Dom Cap's fourth. We've had points so close this year, but now we have a little space, 11 points. Colin Lindsay's trying to cap off a championship. Can he cap it off today? Brandon Stab is about to get us going green, and green flag is flying high at Kentucky. Lead lap one will be Brandon Stab. Here's who we'll be watching today. The 15 car falling back to 12 as Garrett Sidnor comes down to block him. Oh, Lindsay, right now your points leader by 11 points ahead of this person, Matthias Freeman. Only five spots ahead of Colin on the track as Brandon Stab's out front. Here's Zednik Price in the 55, who's been having an okay season. And at the Truck Series, up to third, I think, second in points. But here, not too good in this series, as he is 17th, 59 points back. Looks like Collins, he really can't pass anyone. Falling back to 13th, he might even lose another position. No, Dana Bulls will go high with single file here early on. As we have Janelle Millen going for second. Janelle led the points for a while in this series, but now back in eighth, 26 points back. You can pretty much eliminate her from this race, from the championship. Not going to be able to get under Matt Johnson for the race lead there. We go back. Here's Matthias Freeman. Here's Colin Lindsay. Dane DeVoles now looks like is going to keep his spot and get around the 15 car. So the outside is not the worst lane here. Your car can work almost anywhere as the Colin has fallen back though. All the way back to 14th now. Start at 11th. That's Jamel Lin Millen's going trying to go for the race lead again. Only 10 to go here. Not going to have enough, but here comes the 98 car of Andy Graham now. Can't going to get it there. And Brandon's still your race leader. Only 25 drivers here today. 
very small field. Um, that's 24 normal full-time drivers, so. Colin Lindsay trying to gain some more positions. Not sure if we'll see pit stops as Brandon Stab is still out front. He has led almost every lap here. All single file now, the whole field is as Matthias is running ninth. Got a space to Skylar Dixon. Janelle Mill looks like he keeps trying to close on Matt Johnson for second, but can't get it done. We go back. To, here's a battle on the racetrack. The 23 car, Dana Men trying to go into the 68 Alaria Men. Sorry about my phone, if you heard that. We are inside almost five to go already. Your top eight have pulled away, but there has really been no change up here, as it is a lot of single file racing here at Kentucky. Next week is Iowa to end. That's a cool shot of the pace car right there. But anyways, it's next week is Iowa, which will end the um, season and will crown the champion. And breaking news um, is going to be released in this video. Uh, this is going to be the one and only season of the Blockbuster Racing Series. So uh, whoever wins it will be the one and only Blockbuster Racing Series champion. And it c looks like it might be Matthias or Colin. Or maybe Ben Graham and Dom Capps only 15 points back. But right now they're both behind Colin Lindsay. Who they would need to try if the race ended now. Matthias would gain five points. There would be a six-point difference for the championship going in the final race, which that's pretty close. So it could be Matthias who has a win. One earlier. Let's see if I can find it. At Rockingham, Colin Lindsay has two wins. One last week at Kansas and one at Salem, the second race of the season. And Brandon Stab, he's never won. He's out front almost leading every single lap. Only three laps to go now. And still, the whole pack is single foul. Here goes Ben Graham trying to go on a Jacob Black. Back in the pack. Like Matthias is holding up this whole second pack right here. As you see, Dane Navoles try to go for a spot under Cameron Gadu as we're two to go here. And we have some racing up front now. Here's Ashley stabbing the 13, trying to go for fourth, not going to get it done there. There you see the 98 of Andy Graham come and block him. Janelle Mellon couldn't get second, and Brandon Stab looks like he could win this race off for turn four. He's coming for his white flag. First white flag of his career. White flags out for Brandon Stab. Will he pick up the win here at Kentucky? As points are running now, it looks like we might have a six point differential going into the chase. There you see the 15 in the back, the 45 up front. Okay, will anything happen on this last lap? If we go to the front, Brandon, no, no one's been able to stop Brandon. Brandon's going to start on pole, he's going to lead every lap, and he's going to win himself his first career Blockbuster Racing Series race, and Brandon wins it. And nothing changed back here, we're going to go with a six point lead. Uh, race is over, Brandon Stab picks up his first career win. This is race 11, already in the books. 
as you can see there is your top everyone as we I'm entering the race real quick my bad anyways if you want to know the standings Brandon Stab 15 points back I, I wasn't even factoring him to this I forgot he was like 20 15 points back I think something like that he is three points behind Colin Lindsay now going into the final race Colin Lindsay has a three-point lead Matthias Freeman six points back Matt Johnson 10 points back and then Janelle Millen 15 points back I don't think Janelle's in contention I think it's going to come down between Colin Lindsay Brandon Stab and Matthias Freeman and maybe Matt Johnson so a lot so your top three only separated by six points this will be a very interesting finale at Iowa next race guys uh, Brandon Stab picked up the win Matt Johnson second Janelle Millen Andy Graham and Ashley Savage top five here you can see the rest Matthias Freeman ninth and Colin Lindsay 14th all right next week is Iowa last race of the season last race ever of this series just because this series uh, just I don't don't think we'll run the series again Colin Lindsay trying to hold on for the final for the championship. You'll see points at the end of the next video. That will be the official points. I'm not going to show you now. I'm going to have read it off. Um, Colin Lindsay up by three. Brandon Stab three ahead of Matthias Freeman. Matthias six points back and Matt Johnson ten points back. All right. So those are the final four technically going into the finale at Iowa. We will see y'all then. Thank you guys for watching.